Okay guys, so you will learn how to cut out these letters out of this shape. Awesome, right? So let's just start with the shape first. I'm gonna click on X and delete this. And let's get a shape in here. So I like to do it with a mesh and we choose the cylinder. I'm gonna rotate this around the X axis for 90 degrees. And now I want to delete this, these faces here and then uh, this in the bottom and I'll just expand this with control plus till around here and let's delete these awesome so I'm also gonna delete these here and that will make us able to use a mirror modifier as you can see I'll put the clipping on and I'm just gonna extrude this part here and this just has to go as far like not as far as possible but just the letters need to fit inside here right so I'm gonna click on 7 to go into our top view and scale this around the y-axis for a bit. Around here will be good. And now my next goal is to create some extra edge loops and this is because we're gonna cut out our letters and they need some edge loops to actually work. Like otherwise they're gonna look very weird. So let's get some edge loops in here and I like to do a lot. Just try to make these a little bit square. Okay here as well around the same size and this seems okay so now we can apply our mirror modifier make sure the clipping is on though uh, I like to do a shade smooth in here and add a text so when you add a text it's just with shift a you have a text here and when you add this text you have a new option here which is the object data but especially as you can see the a it's for the text so here you can uh, change a lot of stuff Let's first uh, put our text in. So I personally did happy. We cannot see it, so I'm gonna move the bit up so we can actually see it. Happy Blender Day. Awesome. So as you can see, this is not really what the end result looked like. So the first thing I wanna do is uh, put the alignment from left to center, and this centers everything. And yeah, now we actually are already very far. We just need some thickness in here, right? So if you go to the geometry, you can extrude the geometry. See? So this gives us some thickness. You can also give this an offset if you want to make it a bit thicker. But you can see that with some letters it will create some problems. So I'm not going to do it right now. And if you do want another font in here, you can always click on the font option and open another font. You're also able to create a bevel in here if you like to. But that's all optional, just like the spacing. You can also space everything. So let's scale this a little bit down. I'm gonna move this towards the bottom. And my goal is that these letters go through this whole plane, okay? So you can see that it goes through here. If it, is, if it doesn't go through on your model, just extrude it a bit further. So what we want to do now is we want to cut this out of the plane. So let's select our plane and we go to modifier and we're gonna add a boolean modifier. So a boolean modifier makes you cut out things or add stuff extra on top of your uh, already existing geometry. You can see that the object is not even, we can't see the object. Also with the tool, it will not select our text. This is because the text is not a mesh yet. If we click on the text and go to object, you can actually go into here, convert to, and then we can convert to mesh from curve, meta, surf, or text which we have. So let's click that. And now if you go into top, you can see that this is just our mesh now. Awesome. So let's go back to our plane and we're gonna select our text. And you can see that some weird stuff happened here. If I actually hide off my text for now, you can see that we cut all the way through. This is good, but we do not want these holes in here. So I'm actually gonna go into edit mode Select all the vertices, extrude this a little bit down around the z-axis and then do scale z0 just to make it flat. So now you can see that we don't have holes but it's actually still geometry down here. Another thing that I do not really like is that yeah, we have these weird forms around here and we can fix that with two things. First thing, we go into the object data and we're gonna change the normal to out smooth. This will already make it look way cleaner, but we still have some weird things happening here, right? We go back to our modifier and add a subdivision surface. 
I want to make sure that the subdivision surface goes in front of the boolean. And now we have a way cleaner mesh. So you can see that some letters are missing now. With just moving this up or down or making this text a bit thicker could change a lot. So skill Z0. And sometimes moving it right or left will also work. If that doesn't work, you can always put the subdivision surface a little bit higher because it, because it could be that the program just is annoyed with that. <laughs> so move it to whatever you like. And I personally like this. Our, our letters are cut out perfectly and we can see all of them. So now we just have to give this a color. I like to do this here, go into shade editor. And I personally just did a new material and a base color course orange because blender is orange and the roughness I think I kept at 0.5 but you can change it do however you want I like to delete this light here I don't like it and I want to add an environment map in here so if you stay into the shader editor but go from object to world you can add a environment texture in here environment texture and we add this music hall texture in here and you can get this texture if you look uh, down in the subscription so here it is and the only thing we have to do is put a camera up to wherever we want so i like to go to zero which makes us jump into our camera view click on view and actually do lock camera to view this creates all these red little lines of or dots around our camera and this makes sure that wherever we look now, our camera will move with us. So I would like it to go from here. And the only thing we have to do now is animate this. So, so at frame one, our animation begins and we're gonna move this over here. And I want my plane to be all the way inside still. So inside the camera view and then I'm going to click on E, insert keyframe to location. And then at the last frame, frame 50, we're going to move this around again. So GX, move this around here. I still want this whole plane to be in view. E, insert keyframe and location. Very cool. So if you render it now, you can see that our letters still end up in our scene, right? We don't want them to be visible. So I'm going to do the text here and if you go into the object tab then you can see in the visibility you can show in renders and turn it off so what will happen now is they will not show in the renders and you will just see your cutout very very cool so this is the animation that I did it's very easy I hope you guys learned a lot from it and I'll see you guys in the next part